So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at serving content and serve file, and then we'll jump in on, on file server. So serving files with go. So serve content. Now we're going to say, hey, when you go to this route, Toby JPEG, go to this function, dog pick. Well, we're going to write back text HTML in one in our header, it's the content type, and then just like serve this image. So the browser is going to say, okay, give me that image. And we're going to, it's going to come here on our server. That request will come in, get request. And we'll, you know, see how it came in that route. We'll run this. When that runs, we're going to open Toby, that file, toby.jpg right here. All right, get a pointer to a file, defer the close, do this other function, stat, right, which will give us the file stat. And then off of file stat, we could call mod time. And, uh, and that gives us the modification time. So kind of low level, just out of curiosity, we will look at it. My mouse is tweaking. And uh, so that's, uh, what am I looking at? I'm looking for open, OS open, and uh, OS pound file. So I'll go to the index. When we open it, we get a pointer to a file. And when we have a pointer to a file, we call stat. And when we call stat, we get back file info and an error. Well, what is file info? We open that up. File info has stuff like the name of the file, the size of the file, the mode, the modification time. When's the last time it's modified? Right, so it gives us all this. So I could call mod time, and it gives me back the time. Well, serve content wants the mod time. So I could pass that in, and it also needs the content, and it needs the content to uh, implement IO read seeker. That's just the file, huh? Last time the file was modified. So that could be used for um, e-tag, and e-tag is a way of managing cache that kind of says, hey, this is the last time this file is modified. So then we serve that, and it serves the file. So let's just check and make sure that that works, just because, you know, I want to make sure the code base works. Cool, totally works. And I don't think I need anything over on that area. And then the next thing is uh, serve files. So serve files, a lot easier, right? We don't have to open the file, get the pointer to file, defer its close, call f stat, call f, you know, get back that whatever, and then, you know, call, call uh, mod time on it. All we do is HTTP serve file, response writer request, Toby JPEG. And it serves that one file. And this totally works. So that's a lot easier. Control C, change directories, 03, go run main. And here, localhost, yay, puppy. So here's your first hands on exercise for the night. If you do not complete this exercise, there's a traveling troubadour of clowns that are going to come in and whip you with red vines and honk horns while they ride their tricycles around the room and, and make balloon animals. So I really need you guys to get this right. Otherwise, it's going to be horrible. So this is the hands-on exercise. I want you to create a program that serves an image using serve file. So I'm going to write serve file on the board. Okay, and it's all serve file. That's what you're going for. But you're going to have to look at the documentation. You're going to have to remember listen and serve, to pass in nil, default serve mark. So take a good look at that with your eyeballs. You're basically going to recreate this program five Four, it's going away in three seconds. Three. So we're like to 
look, but we're going to like to look at the code to do it. We don't have to do it by memory. Do you you got to do it by memory. Two. You know why I'm going to do that by memory. Yeah. One. Recreate that using surf file. 